You should receive a message from customer service with a download link when your sequencing order has been completed. When you download your data from our server, you will see two compressed archive files. These are GZ file type which can be opened with a number of file compression programs. If you have any trouble unzipping the compressed archive files, we suggest a free program called UltraZip. Sometimes there will be a compressed archive folder within the archive folder. Make sure you have fully uncompressed all folders before moving on. You will see one folder will be titled Report and the other titled Summary. In the HTML Report folder, you will find an HTML file and a folder titled SRC. If you move files and or folders around, make sure the SRC folder stays with the HTML file as it contains the data sources viewed through the HTML file. The purpose of this file is to give you a quick look at the types of results that are included with your analysis. Consider this file a roadmap to guide you through what can be an otherwise overwhelming data set. This report contains some explanation of methods and results and enables you to view an abbreviated version of some of the tables and figures present in your data set. At the end of each subsection of this report, you can find the location of the document or documents in the final report folder that contains the entire data set. When viewing the HTML file, you can navigate between the sections of the report using the menu on the left side. The first report section contains general information about the methods we use to complete the library preparation and sequencing of your samples and the bioinformatics pipeline used for analysis of your raw data. The next section describes the details of your project, your samples, the databases used for sequence alignment, and the specific software used for the data analysis. The first results section of this report contains the messenger RNA data. The first results subsection displays data contained in the raw data folder. This includes the raw sequencing reads and quality scores for the reads. The next results subsection displays data contained in the reference mapping folder. This includes the read mapping data, mapping rate statistics, and the read localization on each chromosome. Here you will find a table of unique and multi-mapped reads, sense and anti-sense strand reads, and splice reads. The first chart displays the percentage of reads mapped to exons, introns, and intergenic regions of the genome for each sample. The next image visually displays the location of reads mapped in all chromosomes. You can use the drop-down box to select the chart for each sample. The next results subsection displays data contained in the Transcript Expression Data folder. This includes expression data and statistics for both genes and transcripts in each sample. The first two tables show the statistics of the number of raw reads mapped to each gene or transcript. Charts and graphs from this point forward contain expression data and statistics based on FPKM calculations from raw read counts. FPKM refers to fragment per kilobase of exon per million reads mapped and is a standard unit of measure for gene expression. Effectively, read counts are normalized for different gene lengths and differences in sequencing depth to arrive at a value that can be used to compare expression across different genes and samples. The data in the box plot, the FPKM interval chart, and the density graph give a comparison of the overall gene expression between samples. Significant variations in overall expression between samples would be apparent here. The next two charts, Gene and Transcript Expression Profiling, present the FPKM expression values for each individual gene and transcripts sequenced for each sample. Additional details for each gene and transcript are presented here as well, such as GO and KEG entries. Remember this chart represents an abbreviated data set. Refer to the Excel sheet in the Transcript Expression folder to see the data for all genes sequenced. 
Look below the transcript expression chart for class codes and definitions of the different types of transcripts sequenced. The next results subsection displays the data contained in the transcript differential expression folder. It includes the differential expression of genes and transcripts between samples. Within this folder, you will find a subfolder for each of the group comparisons specified on your analysis request form. The gene and transcript differential expression charts include the FPKM expression values and also the fold change, log base two-fold change, and the direction and significance of the regulation of each individual gene or transcript between test groups. Also included here are a volcano plot and a heat map for visualization of the differentially expressed genes and transcripts. You can use the drop-down box to select the chart for each comparison. The next results subsection displays the gene ontology enrichment analysis of the differentially expressed genes. This data is contained in the Go Enrichment subfolder of the Group Comparison folder. It includes a list of the significantly enriched Go terms based on the differential expression of genes and transcripts within this comparison. The purpose of this analysis is to enable functional interpretation of the experimental expression data. A p-value is also included as a measure of significance for each term. This value is calculated by the equation as shown from the variables which are defined in the report. Those Go terms with p-value less than 0.05 were defined as significant Go terms. A bar plot and a scatter plot are included for a visualization of the Go enriched terms for each comparison. A similar analysis is included in the Keg Enrichment folder for enrichment of pathways from the Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes collection of databases. In addition to the chart and scatter plot of enriched pathways, this analysis also includes graphical pathway maps which are described in the report and found in the Keg Picture subfolder for each comparison. The HTML file for each pathway map contains clickable map objects that link to the Keg database and enable further study of the enriched pathways revealed by your data analysis. If you requested advanced analysis with your order, your report will contain sections for mutation and alternative splicing analysis. The SNPs and INDELS results subsection displays data contained in the SNP and INDEL folder. This includes the statistical data for the numbers, positions, types, and annotations of the SNPs and INDELs sequenced in your samples. The Alternative Splicing Analysis Results subsection displays data contained in the AS Category Splicing Data folder. The first chart displays the statistics for the different types of alternative splicing events, and the chart lists and describes each of the alternative splicing events sequenced in your samples. If your sequencing library was produced using a ribosomal RNA depletion method, as in the case of total RNA sequencing or long non-coding sequencing, the report will contain a section of long non-coding RNA results. The first long non-coding RNA results subsection displays the data contained in the non-coding RNA candidate prediction expression folder. This data is similar to what was reported above the mRNA transcript expression. Look below the long non-coding RNA chart for class codes and definitions of the different types of transcripts sequenced. You will see that the chart includes data for both known non-coding genes and potentially novel transcripts. The unknown transcripts are each given a CPC and CNCI score. These refer to coding potential calculator and coding non-coding index score, which are used to classify a transcript as protein coding or non-coding. The candidate long non-coding RNAs are listed in the candidate long non-coding RNA.FA file in the same folder. Below the expression data chart, you can find a graph and box plot illustrating some statistical data for the transcript class codes and CPC, CNCI scores. The next long coding RNA results subsection displays data contained in the non-coding RNA mapping folder. 
This data illustrates the long non-coding RNA localization on each chromosome for each of the samples and also for each of the class codes. Below that subsection are several graphs that illustrate the comparison of basic long non-coding RNA and mRNA properties such as overall expression levels, transcript length, open reading frame length, and exon numbers. The full set of data is contained in the mRNA long non-coding RNA properties comparison folder. The next results subsection displays the data contained in the long non-coding RNA differential expression folder. It includes the differential expression of known and novel long non-coding RNA between samples. Within this folder, you will find a subfolder for each of the group comparisons specified on your analysis request form. The known and novel long non-coding RNA differential expression charts include the FPKM expression values and also the fold change, log base two-fold change, and the direction and significance of the regulation of each individual long non-coding RNA between test groups. Also included here are a volcano plot and a heat map for visualization of the differentially expressed long non-coding RNAs. The next results subsection displays the data contained in the mRNA long non-coding RNA interaction analysis folder. Here again, you will find a subfolder for each of the group comparisons specified on your analysis request form. The chart includes the predicted target genes of long non-coding RNAs that were differentially expressed in your comparison. A data file containing the target predictions for all of the long non-coding RNAs that were sequenced in your samples can be found in the same folder. The long non-coding RNA results subsection contains the functional analysis of the differentially expressed long non-coding RNAs. This data is contained in the Target Function Enrichment Analysis subfolder of the Group Comparison folder. It includes a subfolder for Go Enrichment Analysis and a subfolder for Keg Enrichment Analysis. The files found here contain similar data to the mRNA Functional Analysis files.